Hi, and today I'm going to uh, try to show how you put together the new aluminum case for the parallel. So what you're going to need is clearly the case that came in the box, here are the screws, um, the uh, thermal material, uh, the two end plates, a parallel board. Note that you will need the one where you have the lower caps. If you have the taller caps, um, that's going to be a problem uh, for some of the older boards. Um, need some kind of screwdriver or uh, a uh, Allen wrench, um, a scissors, um, a pair of scissors, um, a piece of cardboard for this mystery metal that came in the uh, in the box, and uh, and the thermal plate. So let's get started. So uh, let's take the uh, screws out of the bag here. So we're going to, first of all, attach the thermal material to, and this is non-conductive for electricity, uh, you're going to attach that to the, uh, to the chips as so. The important part is really that it goes on top of the hot chips, which is the epiphany and the zinc. Um, then we're going to press down. On you can see that the reason we have this uh, putty kind of material is to match the height of the chips. Um, because if you don't, if you don't get a good contact there thermally, you're not going to get transfer of heat. So uh, that's important. Now we're going to take the uh, screws here. We're going to attach them. The bolts four bolts and uh, and the idea here is that we're going to try to apply kind of even pressure around all around right if you uh, if you tighten one too much um, it's going to be uneven you don't want that so you want to make sure that they stick out on the back about the same amount. Now ideally, you'd want some kind of spacer and don't tighten them too much. See, we already did that because I can see that it's it's not going to... Uh... Okay. So you want a little bit of pressure, but not so much as to bend the board. So ideally you'd have spacers here. Uh, we did include some spacers, but unfortunately they were a little bit too short, so they are not going to help very much. So you can just throw those ones away, but you see that there is a plate that sits pretty tight on the board. Okay, so now that's done. Now let's see if it sticks into the board. So it's going to slot in as such, right? So that's all great. Now this is where the uh, the real hack comes in, right? So we've coupled the board to this plate, but still it's just sitting in contact on the sides here. So now we're going to take a piece of cardboard, which uh, is going to be about one and a half size, one and a half times the um, the aluminum plate, and uh, we're going to bend it. And you can use the cardboard box that the, the case came in, and uh, just just so, and we're going to bend it across, as such. Right. So we're going to form a bigger surface for the heat to transfer through. It does make a, a couple of degrees difference. For the temperature of the uh, of the board. So um, now let's see. We don't do that. We're going to put it in as such, 
and then now it's nice and tight in there. It does make for a very tight fit. Um, so now we're gonna have now we're gonna fit on the, the side plates, and that's easy. If you ever put together a case or a piece of IKEA furniture. Most of you, like me, don't have a, a proper size Allen wrench at home. You're going to have to use what you have at home, right? Using your fingers gets kind of annoying. Let's see if we have another screwdriver that'll work better. This one works pretty well. So that's a tiny eyeglasses Allen wrench just to get it in there. Of course, if you have tools, that's great, but some of us don't. Again, this will be a lot easier if you have the right tool. There you go. Alright, so case put together. Um, you definitely want a proper sized Allen wrench to put this together. Uh, but that's what it's going to look like. One's done.